Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language. So in the previous tutorials, we have learned about the methods in Java programming. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the pass by value and pass by reference. In Java, you can pass the values to a method in two ways. One is pass by value and another one is pass by reference. So here I'm going to explain that with example and before that we're going to create a meta in our program. So after my main meta in my tutorial class, I'm going to create a meta. So it's going to have the access modifier as public static and then we're going to have the return type as void and then we just need to give a name for our meta and I'm going to call it as display. And I'll also know that if you want to pass parameters to the methods, then you have to specify that between these parentheses. So here we're going to assume that our meta is going to take an integer variable. So it's going to be int and we're going to call uh, this one as num. And inside this display meta, we're just going to use a print line statement. So it's going to be system dot out dot print line. And here we're going to say inside display meta and we're gonna say num equal to and then i'm gonna append the num variable so here this is enough for this display meta so we are taking an integer parameter and inside this meta we are just displaying the value of that uh, uh, num variable and also we are not returning any value from this display meta so now inside this main meta I'm going to create an integer variable and we're going to call it as number and I'm going to initialize this one with a value of let's say 25. Now I can call this display method and before that I'm just going to print out the value using the print line statement. So it's going to be system dot out dot print line and here we're going to say before calling display method and then uh, just gonna append the value of the number variable so it's gonna be number equal to and i'm gonna append that so it's gonna be number and then we're gonna call our display meta so it's gonna be display the method name and then here we're gonna pass the number variables value and then we're gonna copy this print line statement and i'm gonna paste it here and I'm going to say after, after calling the display meta. So now here you guys can see we have uh, created an integer variable in our program and we are uh, displaying the value of that variable before calling this display meta and after calling this display meta. So now the important thing is whenever we pass arguments to the methods, there is a possibility of two ways. One is that values are going to be passed by value and another one is going to be passed by reference. So first we're going to learn about the pass by value. So whenever the parameters of the methods are going to be the Java primitive types at that time, the values are going to be passed by value. So what happens is here, whenever we call this display method and pass this number variables value at that time, the value stored in this number variable is going to be copied to this num variable. So this number variable and this num variables are going to be stored in different, different memory locations and they are going to be independent of each other. So because of that, if I change the value of this num variable inside this display meta, then that change will only reflect inside this display meta and it is not going to affect the value of this number variable. So here before uh, making any modification, I just going to run this program. And now you guys can see here before calling display meta number variable is containing the value of 25 and inside the display meta num variable is containing 25 and after calling display meta number is containing the value of 25. So whenever we call a meta in our program if the parameters of that meta are going to be Java primitive type you know the integers or the floating point numbers type or the character type or the 
boolean types at that time the values are going to be passed by value which means the values of that arguments are going to be copied to the meta parameters so here in this example the number variables value is going to be copied to this num variable number and this num variable are going to be stored in different different memory locations and because of that they are going to be independent of each other and that's why if we change the value of this num variable inside this display method then that change will only affect this num variable it won't affect the number variable so now inside this display method what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the value of this num variable and i'm gonna make this one hundred and after that i'm just gonna copy this uh, print line statement and i'm gonna paste it after that modification and now you guys can see here we have modified the value of this num variable inside this display method and i'm gonna run this program now you guys can see here before calling display method number variable is containing the value of 25 so here we have initialized our number variable with a value of 25 and then we have called this display method and we have passed this number variable here this number variable is of integer type which is the java primitive type and that's why the arguments are going to be passed by value so here the number variables value is going to be copied to this num variable so this num variable is going to contain 25 and here in this first print line statement it prints out inside display method num equal to 25 so the number variables value is successfully copied to this num variable and it is printing out 25 and after that we are modifying this num variables value we have changed that one to 100 now the second print line statement inside this display method says num equal to 100 so we have made the modification and that has reflected and then after executing this display method the control will come back to this main method and it will start executing the code so here this print line statement is gonna print out after calling display method number equal to 25 so here the main thing is since the arguments are passed by value the number variables value is not modified so this is about the pass by value whenever the method parameters are of java primitive types you know the integers or the floating point numbers or you know the characters or the boolean values at that time values are going to be passed by value and at that case if we change the value in the called meta at that time that change will not reflect in the calling meta so the variables are going to be stored in different different memory locations now what if we pass the non java primitive types to the methods for example what happens if we pass an array or an object so here we're gonna see what happens if we pass an array so to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create another method inside my tutorial class so here after my main method and also after my uh, display method i'm gonna create another method so it's gonna have the modifiers as public static so it's gonna be public then we can have the static and then uh, let's assume that our meta it is uh, not gonna return any value so it's gonna be a white type and we're gonna say uh, display array you know the method name and then uh, our meta is gonna take an array as a parameter so here we're gonna assume that it's gonna be taking an integer array and i'm gonna call it as uh, values and inside this display array method we're gonna print out the values of this values array so i'm just gonna copy this print line statement and i'm gonna paste it here and i'm gonna say uh, inside display array method and uh, we're gonna say values and we're gonna print out the first element so for the demonstration purpose it's gonna be enough now in my uh, main method 
I'm just gonna comment this code out so that uh, whenever you're gonna get the source code of this tutorial you guys can uh, just uh, try out this code so here I'm gonna create an integer array so it's gonna be int and then uh, array so it's gonna be value you know array name you guys can give any name and here we can have two elements for example let's say 125 and 635 all right now whenever we pass the non java primitive type to a meta at that time the reference will be passed it means if i pass this value array to this display array meta at that time the memory address which is used to store this array will be passed to this meta parameter which means if i call the display array meta here and if I pass value here, you know, the integer array at that time, the memory address of this value array is going to be passed to this display array method and that address will be stored in this values variable. So at that time, this values array and this value array are going to be pointing to the same memory locations. And because of that, if we change the value inside this display array method, then that change will reflect inside this main method also because here the values are passed by reference. So just to demonstrate that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a print line statement here and I'm going to say first element of value array and then we're going to refer that so it's going to be value you know the array name and we're gonna refer the first element at the index zero. Now I'm just gonna copy this print line statement and I'm gonna paste it here. And we're gonna say before display array method. And here we're gonna say after display array method. It's gonna be display array and here in this display array method we're gonna say first element is and then we're gonna refer that values of zero and now i'm gonna run this program now you guys can uh, see here before display array method first element of value array is 125 so you guys can see here 125 and after that we have called this display array method and we have passed this value array as the argument and since these arrays are java non-primitive types the reference of this value array is going to be passed what it means is the memory address which is used to store this value array is going to be passed so this memory address will be copied to this values array so this values and this value array are going to be pointing to the same memory location if i change the value of this values array inside this display array method then that change will also reflect in this value array so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the first element so it's going to be values and then the first element zero and we're going to store 100 now i'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to run this program now you guys can see here inside display array method first element is 125 this element 125 is printed out here because of this uh, print line statement and then we have called this display array method and pass this array and since the memory address is passed here this values and this value array are going to be pointing to the same memory locations and here inside this display array method our first print line statement is going to print out the first element is 125 and then we have changed the value of this values array and we have changed that first element to 100 now since this values array and this value array are going to be pointing to the same memory locations if we make any changes that change will reflect so here this values array's first element is changed and that's why it's going to print out 100 here now after calling this display array meta our value array's first element value is also changed 
you guys can see here it is displaying now 100 because the reference is passed whenever we use the java non-primitive types if we change the values in uh, one method then that change will reflect in another method so this is about the pass by value and the pass by reference in java programming language so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you guys have any doubt or any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and you guys can like my facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash learning lad and also you guys can uh, follow me on twitter at learning lad edu and uh, you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and i'll see you in the next tutorial